Apple Live Hangout. My name is Jim Paris. I'm the editor-in-chief of the website ChristianMoney.com. And we're going to be talking about Internet marketing in this next uh, 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to be talking about, in particular, something that we call here at ChristianMoney.com a turnkey store. And it's an interesting concept, one that we uh, came up with a few years ago. It has been one of the most popular products that we make available through our online store over at jameslparisbookstore.com. And joining me today in this discussion, uh, we have two individuals. My business partner, Robert Yetman, uh, who's joining us from his home over near the Orlando area, which, by the way, I'm on the East Coast today over uh, near Daytona Beach, where I live, uh, actually north of Daytona Beach in Palm Coast, Florida. And Bob Yetman from Orlando, uh, good to have you with us today. Uh, great to be here, Jim. And we also have my daughter, Joy, who is actually in Daytona, which I don't know why, Joy, I always say Daytona, that I'm in Daytona, but I'm about 45 minutes away from you. You actually officially live in Daytona on the beach, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, and uh, Joy is our director of training and also is in charge of all of our website uh, development and all that between her and the folks that work for her. Um, they keep all of our websites going as well as our servers going where we host all of the websites for uh, those individuals that buy websites from us and so forth and so on. So we've got a good uh, panel lined up here today and we're going to be talking about these turnkey stores and before we even get into what these stores are let me go ahead and see if I can uh, uh, go ahead and open up one of these stores to show folks what they look like because uh, it's it's hard to explain it unless you're actually seeing it so I went ahead and opened up a tab here and I'm gonna do the screen share and if this works we should be uh, seeing the turnkey store there we go are we seeing that guys looks yes, great we are. Okay, yeah, so this is one example, and my understanding is that uh, as of Friday of this week, we're going to have 20 of these stores uh, up and running. Is that right? Because we had 17, and we're adding three, three or four more. Yes, is that's that correct. right, guys? Okay. 20 stores. So we're going to have 20 stores, and what we did was each one of these stores, we pick a theme. So this store here is the Mixed Martial Arts Store. Now, we have a, a quite a large variety of these. I'm going to uh, continue the screen share and um, go back here to jameslparisbookstore.com. And uh, are people still seeing this, guys? Yeah. Um, now, now I'm showing the whole list of what we have here. I mean, we've got a Planet of the Apes store. We've got a scooter store. And the idea here is that each one of these stores, and we can just go ahead and pick on pick another one here. This is the online uh, pet and accessory uh, store. And boy, I'll tell you what, people spend a lot of money on their animals these days. But uh, here's what this one looks like. And each one of these stores is filled with money-making products. And it's a little bit different than what most people imagine. So, for example, somebody came here and decided to buy uh, this cat grooming bag, whatever that is. So somebody buys this, and let's say that I own this store. I don't have to ship anything out. I don't have to deal with uh, customer service or refunds or any of that stuff. This product is actually going to be fulfilled by Amazon.com, and then I'm going to get a percentage of that. And that's how these stores are set up. These are all filled with, you know, third-party companies are actually selling these items. And then as the store owner, you get a percentage of the money. And it's filled with what we call money makers. You know, so here's some more Amazon products. Um, we put a number of different uh, money-making opportunities in each and every one of these sites, and they can each be customized. Most of these have several hundred different products on them, and we've got all kinds of different themes. And then in addition to that, if we click on one of these buttons here, pet grooming, for example, um, these internal pages are packed with videos. Each one of these pages, I think, has... Uh, 15 or 20 videos on it and this is what's going to drive a lot of traffic because people are going to look at a site like this as a really great resource to go to it's not just a site that has a bunch of things for sale but I find that people would rather shop this way um, Bob maybe I'll get your comments on this and we'll close the screen share here um, people would rather shop like this I know I, I would rather shop like this because if I have to go to Amazon and then find all of the pet stuff, 
it's not as easy to shop that way. I would rather go to a store that is curated. You know, that is some smart person has put together a store with some of the top products and then I can just get what I need and I'm done. And I don't even really care that I'm buying it through Amazon, through Bob Yetman's store site. It doesn't matter to me. I'm still getting the same products, but it makes my shopping a lot easier. Well, I think what happens is that most people, I know that I do, when I am in the market for something, let's say it is martial arts supplies, which I will be from time to time, I will do a Google search on that basis. I'll put in martial arts supplies or maybe something a little bit more specific related to that. I won't necessarily go to Amazon. I mean, obviously, Amazon you know, is the big player on the, uh, on the block when it comes to online retail. But I think that even at that, most people are still inclined to do a search for what it is exactly that they're looking for, to see what's available out there for an online store option. And so having a store dedicated to a specific niche like that, a store that you own, uh, you just set aside that for a moment, the fact that you own the store, but just like you're saying, just from the standpoint of the purchaser, the shopper, um, that's how, like you're saying, people will go ahead and, and search for things. And so then when you factor in, well, now you can have a store that provides a, a, an enormous breadth of, uh, of, of, of products and services to the person in, in the market uh, uh, for products and, and like products. I mean, somebody who's looking for pet supplies isn't going to just be looking for pet dishes and that the only time they're looking for pet supplies is when they're looking for pet dishes. They're looking for pet collars. They're looking for leashes. They're looking for, you know, cat beds or, you know, dog runners or, you know, whatever. So, I mean, uh, something like the, you know, a pet accessory store um, is a tremendous opportunity. And, uh, you know, what's, what's great, of course, is now you as the store owner, you have the ability to make money from simply having this online store. But that said, we're also going to talk about how important it is for, uh, for you as the store owner uh, to go ahead and get your store uh, as high in the search rankings as possible. We'll talk about building traffic. But uh, just the, the general concept itself is outstanding. And I don't know if you see, I just switched over here now to the screen share again, and I'm showing the online scooter store where... Yeah, uh, that that looks that? great. That yeah, looks great. So, so people can, you know, you can have your own scooter shop. I mean, how many people want to save money on gas right now? So, I mean, look at some of these prices. I mean, you can get a, a 50cc scooter here for under $1,000. And again, you know, all you're doing, you're not actually going to have to ship that scooter out or you know, meet somebody in a dark alley to collect the money or anything like that. I mean, you just get, you know, drive traffic here uh, to this page, uh, to this site, and um, you make money from everything that's happening here. You get a percentage of all the sales uh, that are going on. Let's switch it over to Joy. I know, Joy, that you are in charge of uh, getting these stores built. And so I know one of the questions a lot of people would have is, okay, when I buy a store, what do I have to do then as the purchaser so that um, I imagine you're going to explain to us that they've got to open up different accounts with these different companies to get their percentage of the sale, but what all is involved in that, becoming an affiliate with Amazon, for example, and some of these other uh, companies they're going to want to sign up with? Well, we will walk you through the process of doing this, but uh, it's a free process where you um, go to, for example, Amazon Associates. It's associates.amazon.com. Uh, they have an application there that you can fill out. They ask information about your website. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, what to fill in there, we'll let you. Uh, we'll walk you through that. But uh, you're going to go to Amazon Associates, sign up for a free account there then we do all the work after that. All you have to do is set up the account and then we will get your associates ID and all of that kind of stuff and put it inside the site and uh, tailor the site towards your affiliate accounts and making sure that any sales that go through the store go to your account. And then and when then you can log into your site and change your uh, billing information, that kind of stuff, so that uh, they know how to pay you. So and I'm, I'm going to jump in here for a second though. Um, because some of our viewers I know are a little bit more astute than others. Um, not everyone can become a member of the Amazon Associates program because it's not available 
in every single state. There's like a handful of states, I think, maybe as many as 10 states where it's not available, but that's not a problem because we do have an alternative to that, right, Joy? It's called link share. Is that, is that correct? Yes. And okay. there are many uh, different affiliates that are associated with um, this, these stores. It's not just Amazon. The, the main products uh, would be either Amazon or LinkShare, the ones that you see on the main page, but any of the sidebar ads are a combination of uh, Commission Junction, uh, that's cj.com. Uh, let's see, there's ClickBank, which we build those ads for you too. Uh, you can become an affiliate with ClickBank. Uh, Bidvertiser, which is a pay-per-click, so people don't actually have to even buy anything. If they just click on the ad, then you get paid for the clicks on that. Uh, so there are multiple different affiliates associated with it, but the main products that are in the categories that you'll see in the store are going to be either Amazon or Linkshare, whichever you choose. Um, if your state doesn't allow Amazon, then you will use LinkShare, but you're free to choose whichever you'd like, and uh, we'll help you after that point, after you sign up for those accounts and put the information into your stores. And Joy, while you're talking there, I went ahead and uh, brought up yet another um, store here, the video game store, and we continue to um, go in a lot of different directions with these. I just have to tell you, uh, you do a really great job, Joy, of building these stores, and it almost, I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would think I was arriving at a website of like a large company. I mean, what what are your thoughts, Bob, when you see a site of this quality? Well, it, it's funny that you uh, clicked on the video game store because I was looking at that uh, recently, and the video game store I think is just tremendous you know I think it looks great I mean it's you're right I mean uh, Joy's done a great job I mean loading it with products loading it with content all of these stores and when you click on something like the video game store which obviously to begin with anybody who's interested in video games is going to be used to seeing uh, uh, screenshots and, and visuals that are that are higher production uh, values that are representative of higher production values and that's the kind of store that you're getting here uh, with, with all of these stores not only are they packed filled with uh, with product sales opportunities with content uh, content is very important because uh, when people are searching for um, uh, in, in that topic area it is frequently the content that shows up in the search engines that ultimately drives people, people who might uh, ultimately become purchasers to your store. Um, and just and take a look at this one here, Bob, the online wedding store. Yeah, that's great. I mean, uh, it's it's really amazing um, the different niches that are out there that you can, uh, and and we're we're always open. We we always say to our customers, uh, hey, if there is a store that you want us to build and we don't have it. Um, we'll we'll look into building it, and um, as long as we can see a path for a person to make money with a store uh, within a given niche, we'll we'll build that store. Um, tell me about some of the new stores we have coming out, Bob, and what your thoughts are on maybe some that are in development, uh, even beyond the ones that are coming out this week. Well, I'm very excited about that. I'm I'm glad you brought that up because as 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 high quality as the stores are. Um, one of the things that uh, we've done is, is maybe sometimes be almost overly judicious about putting the stores uh, together and so maybe we haven't um, put out quite the, the, the number and, and, and the breadth of, uh, of stores and store topics that we would like but we're changing that and uh, we've got some terrific stores in development uh, stores uh, with themes related to uh, fishing, camping, Golf, golf is very popular. We've been asked about that before, and uh, that uh, fishing one—that sounds interesting. I well, a lot of people would be interested in a store like that. A lot of people will be, and uh, we've also, in fact, we've had requests for that specifically. Um, we're also going to be moving into creating uh, stores that are um, reflective of sports themes. Of course, football season is now beginning to start in earnest, and uh, one of the uh, projects oh, on the everybody table. Everybody wants to get that uh, football gear, right? Uh, like my neighbor across the street, he hangs a, 
a big Buffalo Bills flag from his garage sure. every Sunday. It, it gets a little obnoxious, but those people are spending money, so why not get a, a percentage of that? Um, you know, um, the amount of money that people make, um, it, it, you know, it can be significant. Um, I mean, when you think about the fact that you're not actually – shipping any products out, you're not dealing with customer service or refunds or, or, or returns or any of that, uh, that over at Amazon, you know, I can tell you with my Amazon Associates account, I think I average about 6 to 8%, somewhere between 6% and 8%. Now, you can make more than that or a little bit less than that depending on the product, but that's a pretty nice percentage to make for just sitting back and, um, you know, watching, you know, I mean, and we want to make clear on this video that you still have to do some work here. We're going to get into that here in a second. Uh, but that's a pretty good percentage, Joy, isn't it, uh, for people to earn for just basically being the middleman on these product sales? Yeah, and some of the affiliates are uh, bigger percentages than others. For example, ClickBank. Uh, you get a lot bigger of a cut because they're usually digital products like ebooks or things like that. Oh, you're right. ClickBank pays sometimes 50%, I think. Isn't that right? Mm. Yeah, so it just depends on the products. Um, you know, every store is a little different because uh, different product areas go better with different affiliates. So every store we build is a little different. We don't have necessarily two ClickBank ads on every store or. Um, you know, three commission junction products in every store. Kind of just wherever we find the best products that are going to be the most marketable, in our opinion. Uh, so they're all a little bit different, um, but in general, yeah, I think overall it's a great commission percentage. Now, we're not going to give, uh, folks, we're not going to give any specific prices out today because, and let me tell you why. Uh, from time to time we have sales and the prices kind of change on these stores and this video might be out there for a few months but I can tell you that if you were to go hire a web programmer to put one of these websites together for you you just walked into a a web development shop somewhere and you know try it you know walk and say I want a website that does all this stuff that has all these videos on it that has all these products and money making opportunities preloaded on it I want a professional uh, graphic design I want this all built around a theme of fishing or or camping or whatever it is, they're probably going to charge you on the low end maybe five to seven hundred dollars, uh, possibly as much as double that. And um, I'm not going to give you the prices on the video here, but we charge a lot less than that. So you're going to find this to be a, a tremendous uh, savings. Now, in our last few minutes, guys, what I want to talk about is we talked about what the stores are. We gave people some examples of that. Of course, if you want to look at all of the stores. Go to James L. Paris Bookstore.com, James L. Paris Bookstore.com, or just Jim Paris Bookstore.com. I think we'll get you there as well. And then click on Turnkey Stores, or Turnkey Websites, actually, is, is the link. If you can't find any of that, send me an email, Jim at ChristianMoney.com. I will connect you to the list of the stores. Um, so, um, we've already talked about what's involved with the stores, what they look like, and how they're built around themes, and how they have these built-in money-making opportunities. We talked about what your part of it is going to be in terms of setting up some accounts, you know, with Amazon, with uh, LinkShare, Commission, Commission Junction, some of these sites, so that you can actually uh, get your money. Which, by the way, you get paid monthly. Uh, most of these uh, programs, they do all their accounting over a 30-day window and then the next month comes around you know by the end of the month they're going to pay you and you do get a 1099 at the end of the year so you will have to set aside some of that money for taxes but the good news is once you're in a business like this talk to your account your computer might become a tax deductible item your internet fees uh, for connecting to the internet each month might become tax deductible so a lot of this money that you're earning very well could be offset by tax deductions. Again, we're not giving tax advice here, but something uh, to inquire about uh, with your account. Now, here's the deal. You probably have heard uh, the question before, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, does it really make a sound? Now, that's kind of an interesting question. Of course, it still makes a sound, but I think what, I don't know where that question originates from, Bob Yevon, but I think that the question's really sort of asking, uh, it's a little bit of a deeper contemplation, which is, does it really matter if it makes a sound if nobody's there to hear it? And when we apply that to what we're talking about today, people are saying, how is that going to tie back into <laughs> this discussion about online stores? Well, if you build one of these really neat websites, but no one ever goes to your website and no one ever sees how neat it really is or buys anything, 
what's really the point behind that? And this is something we want to uh, make clear that, you know, one of the things you're going to want to do is come up with a traffic building strategy. And it's so easy to do this, but a lot of people, they buy the store and then they forget about this part of it. And um, I'm going to rattle off just four or five just ridiculously easy things that anybody can do for traffic. And then Bob Yetman, uh, you take it from there. Hey, you can run some ads in Craigslist, right? You know, what if you ran an ad, hey, save money on gas, uh, buy a scooter for under a thousand bucks, put an ad in Craigslist in a big city, put a link to your scooter shop. I mean, how easy would that be? How easy would it be to go on your Facebook or your Twitter account and uh, talk about uh, some uh, interesting discounts and deals going on inside the wedding store? Do you know someone getting married? Hey, there are wedding dresses that you can get for uh, just a few hundred dollars at, on a discount that's running over now at, at my wedding store and put a link to it. Uh, maybe you're someone that um, wants to get out on the Internet and find these different forums you know, where you can discuss things. So maybe you get into a forum that is about motorcycles. People are talking about different motorcycles, and you say, hey, we've got some really great uh, discounts going right now on helmets over at my uh, motorcycle accessory shop. Here's a link. So you can do it that way. People go to blogs, and they comment on other people's blogs. Um, of course, just picking a great domain name that will rank well in the search engines is another thing you can do. But, Bob, you haven't talked about this whole idea of, um, the confusion a lot of times people have between having a really beautiful looking website and a website that actually makes money for them. Well, it, it, this is, I mean, what you're talking about speaks to the, the core of internet marketing success or for that ma matter, internet marketing failure, which is you can have a beautiful website. You can have a website that um, when somebody sees it, they decide this is the most attractive, most appealing, uh, you know, most sales-inducing website that I've ever been to. But if that website is something that very few people are seeing, that there is no, as we call it, traffic, that is the number of people, the amount of people, just people coming to your website, uh, putting your website in front of their eyes, the lower that number is, the lower your chances of being successful. But the thing to remember is that applies to any business, right? I mean, if, if somebody is out there and is interested in starting any kind of a business, let's say they want to purchase a franchise from a well-known fast food chain, um, there's in 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 the in the case of something like that although that structure is a little bit different the reality is that you have to get people through your door and you have to go out there and you've got to hustle and if you start a business in your local community it you may serve the the best most delicious food there is but you have to do the things that are necessary to get people interested and to get people to walk through that door and this is something that, that's important for people to know here. I mean, we've been talking uh, for the last several minutes about just some of the wonderful features of the store, but now it's time for a little bit of tough love. And the, the, the tough love comes in the form of in, uh, letting people uh, know that your chances of success, although very good based on the, the content of the store and all the work that's done to create this beautiful store, Chances of success are going to be more limited if you're not doing what we like to say is is your part as the store owner, uh, going out and engaging in the the, the time honored, uh, useful uh, internet marketing practices to drive that traffic. And uh, Jim had just uh, mentioned a few things. Uh, and Bob, for, for those people that want to get involved with our full internet coaching, which we have a sure. program on that, I mean, sure. uh, you can earn, I mean, you, you can really make this into a, a very good part-time income, maybe even a full-time income, if you learn some of the other uh, strategies. And as we're closing it out here today, uh, Joy, any final thoughts you have on traffic, and then I want you to get into how long does it take for someone to get a store? if they gave you all of their information that they needed today, how long do they have to wait before their store is running? So talk a little bit if you have anything okay. to add on the traffic issue and then what the waiting time is right now for people to get a store built. Well, I think there are a lot of ways, especially um, 
with all the social networking and things like that nowadays uh, to get people to come to your store. We also have some tips that we'll give you. Uh, we have an article that talks about how to get links uh, on the internet that will link back to your store and things like that. Um, but it's not make necessarily a Google, Make hard. a Google Hangout video, right? Like we're doing. <laughs> right. Right. It's not necessarily hard. It's just... Uh, really just how much time you want to put into it. You know, the more time you put into telling people about it, uh, posting links to different places on the internet, the more people you're going to end up having there. Uh, as far as the time for getting the store built, we say five business days, but a lot of times it's faster than that. It just kind of depends on uh, a lot of different things. You know, sometimes we've gotten stores built within 24 hours, but our limit is five business days, so less than five business days. And we do provide unlimited support for you as well when you buy one of these stores. And that's so important for us to mention because um, if you're not someone that knows a lot about, you know, Internet uh, programming or HTML or any of that, you're probably thinking, well, what am I going to do if I wake up one morning and something looks really weird on my web page? Or maybe my website is off the Internet. You know, what do I do then? Um, we have 24/7, you know, support uh, on these sites. So something happens, and we give you, you know, a, a ticket uh, support ticket system you can access. Let us know there's a problem. Um, we have support running seven days a week. Uh, now, in an emergency, we might be able to get it taken care of, you know, if it's the middle of the night. But uh, typically, you're going to get most of your service tickets answered during a business day. But even on the weekends, um, we do have service people. We have a, a much lesser a service staff working on a Saturday and a Sunday, of course, but we do have that, uh, which is unusual because a lot of internet companies, um, you know, you're basically on your own once you get a site like this, or they want to charge you, you know, 50 or 100 bucks an hour to help you, and, and we don't work like that. I mean, once you get this site, it's a very, very small monthly support fee, and I, I guess I can say what that is because that doesn't change. Uh, what is our support fee now? It's, it's about $10 a month, isn't that right, Joy, on the stores? Yes, ten dollars a month. Yeah, yeah, it's nine ninety five a month for unlimited support, which is which is kind of crazy when you also consider how low uh, the cost of these stores actually. And that is. also so, includes hosting. Uh, and that also includes hosting, which you know I forgot to mention that that's huge. Uh, if you go out, I mean, what is hosting? That your website has to be on a server somewhere to actually appear on the internet. So if you were to go out and host it somewhere, you'd probably be paying at least $10, maybe $20 a month just for your hosting. With us, that includes your hosting and the unlimited support. Uh, so it really is, it, it's a fantastic product. I love the stores because in my mind, they represent a real win-win for, for everybody. The consumer wins because it's a lot easier to shop and find the stuff you want at one of these theme stores than trying to find it over at a big site like Amazon. You as the store owner, you win because you're making an income from this on a daily basis from the items people are buying on your store. And then we win because it's able, you know, it's it's another income source for us. We don't make a lot from these stores, but, you know, in volume, we do make enough money. Uh, it helps us to support what we're doing, the overall training that we do. And uh, when, you know, I've always believed in this, if you can... If you can sell a lot of products at a lower price, it's prob it probably makes a lot more sense for everybody. And in our own case, we've been able to use that money to lease space on two big servers. So by everybody working together and sharing the space on these servers, we're able to keep not only the initial building cost of these down, but then the ongoing monthly costs low as well. Uh, Bob Yetman, uh, any closing comments here uh, before we, uh, we call it a wrap? Uh, nothing really other than to say that I uh, enjoyed it very much and uh, appreciate this opportunity for us to uh, describe, you know, especially with all three of us in the same room, quote unquote, uh, the stores and uh, very excited. People who are, are looking at the store offerings now are intrigued by them. Maybe you've already purchased one or two. Look for lots more in the near future. We're just going to keep growing doing this. All right, very good, and uh, we're going to close it out there. And again, if you have any questions, folks, uh, send me an email, Jim at christianmoney.com. You can also reach Bob, bob at christianmoney.com. We're happy to answer any questions. Joy, are, do you have a christianmoney.com email? Yes, joy at christianmoney.com. Oh, okay, good. I, I wasn't 100% sure. So it's joy at christianmoney.com, bob at christianmoney.com, or jim at christianmoney.com. For Joy Paris and Bob Yetman, this is Jim Paris here as always to help you Make the most of God's money. We'll talk to you next time.